Welcome back, folks. I'm Z, and today we are starting up the Q and A. I am so excited to start this because I wasn't sure what else we should do for 1,000 subscribers, but here we are. And I also want to thank everyone so much for commenting and answering all of my questions that I asked in my previous video. It really means a lot to me and I get to know all of my viewers as well. So now I know what kind of platforms that everyone's playing on and the kind of games that all of you play too. It really means a lot, honestly, so thank you so much. Without further ado, let's begin the Q&A. So the first set of questions comes from BV5. And the first question is, what games will you do video on and play in the future? Well, the games that I plan on making more videos on are definitely Coromon and maybe some more Last Claudia videos, um, especially since there is a Dr. Stone collaboration going on right now. But um, I also want to play more video games that I found on Steam. And a lot of those are free games too, so if I if, if I find any of those games are worth playing, I'll also let the viewers, of course, I'll let all of you know if any of those games are worth playing. What other games do I plan on playing in the future? Well, in terms of genre, I'm open to just about anything. I'm terrible at first-person shooters. Um, I'm also terrible at strategy games. But, uh, <laughs> well, what am I not terrible at? Uh, now that I think about it, um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to play in the future, but I'm pretty used to RPG games. So probably a lot more RPG games in the future. Number two, any recommended games? Well, there is Iron Snout. And that is free on Steam, but if you were to play it on other platforms like PlayStation or Xbox, I think it's on mobile device as well, but not on Switch. I think Iron Snout costs money on other platforms, but it's free on PC. Um, I recommend playing that one. You just play a pig and you beat up wolves. I, I love it. Another game that I would recommend is Super Animal Royale. Think... Fortnite or PUBG, but you play as a cute little animal. So you can be a fox, a cat, or a panda, or a lot more, and um, you go around shooting people. That's, yeah, that's, that's it. Um, it's pretty well censored though. There's no blood or anything. Um, so, I mean, if you were like a 14 year old who wanted to play a cute version of PUBG or Fortnite, go for it. It's on Steam and it's free. So go ahead and play that. Oh, another game that I recommend is The King's Request. I actually just made a video about that too. So if you want to watch the gameplay about that, go for it. But it's basically an RPG game where you try to save a kingdom from like a skeleton emperor, I forget, but you have to use your knowledge of physiology and anatomy. And even if you don't have that kind of knowledge, you can still play because you don't really lose very much when you pick the wrong choices in the game. Um, and there are a lot of hidden monsters and hidden options in the game as well. So it's really worth exploring. Number three, what is your all-time favorite game? My favorite game of all time would probably have to be Radiata Stories. It's about a country boy who becomes a knight because he is a legacy to his father. And eventually he gets kicked out of the knight guild and has to choose between two paths. He can either try to become a knight again and try to save the world but end up losing the person that he cares about the most. Or he can follow the person he cares about the most and end up saving not just her but the rest of the world as well. So that's what I really loved about Radiata Stories is that you can choose which path you want to take and then that also 
has like a butterfly effect. That very decision you make on what path to take determines um, like the kind of people that you have around you and the things you end up doing in the end as well. But the game that I'm playing right now a lot is called L Sword, and I've played that game since I think like 2010? And I still play it to this day, granted I take a lot of breaks from this game, but I just got back into it because they released a new character, his name is Noah, and the character that I'm in love with right now is Celestia. He's like this celestial being who uses magic based off of the zodiac, and his skills are just so shiny and beautiful. I love it. I love his character. Moving on to the next questions. So the next set of questions comes from Lemon Boba. First question, do you watch anime and what anime do you like? Well, I do watch anime. Um, in a lot of my Monster Sanctuary videos, I actually go off on tangents and start talking about random stuff like anime um, and what else do I go on about? I think just anime. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've seen the first two seasons of Vogue Horizon. I think that took me about a week, maybe less than a week. And then I've also seen the first season of Dr. Stone. I know the second season is out, but I haven't gotten around to watching it yet. I have started watching the second season of that time I got reincarnated as a slime. The second season just makes my heart ache so much. If you haven't seen those animes, I highly recommend watching them. Uh, you can watch them on Crunchyroll or even on YouTube even. I know those videos are subbed and dubbed, so definitely check those out. But my favorite genre of anime is isekai right now. Um, I think the main one I'm watching is So I'm a Spider, So What? Which is basically about a girl who along with her classmates, gets reincarnated into a world, but the main protagonist becomes a spider, while most of her other classmates are humans. And she has to survive in a dungeon, all by herself, as a spider. I... I'm... I'm not really sure how to feel about it, but I like the anime so far. <laughs> Number two. When will you play Koromon or make a speed run Koromon video? I would love to see that. Um, I it has been a while since I've made a Koromon video, so I actually plan on making a Koromon video pretty soon. Um, I don't know about speed running. I'm not very good at that. I know that with speed running, you have to be very strategic with all of your decisions, and you kind of just have to be really lucky, especially with RNG. Um, but I'll consider it. I know there is someone out there who is doing Koromon speedruns, so I'll probably link him in the description or in the video. Number three, can you do a Pokemon gameplay? You know, I've actually thought about this and I was kind of curious if anybody else wanted to see a Pokemon gameplay as well, considering Pokemon has been played for a very, very long time. So maybe I'll do like a randomizer or like a Nuzlocke or something, something special. Um, I mean, those are pretty common too. Or maybe I'll try a completely different Pokemon game that no one's covered yet. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments, what kind of Pokemon game do you want to see me play? Um, a first gen, second gen, third gen, maybe even a fourth gen. I mean, with that being said, I'm also very excited for the 4th gen remakes as well. The next set of questions come from Paulo Allen. The first question is, you know what is a gaming banana? I, I don't know what a gaming banana is. Is it a banana that you play video games on? Or is it like a gaming application? I'm not really sure. I'll have to Google that. Number two, would you choose between fire powers or ice powers? Um, I would probably choose ice powers just because, I mean, I could, no, now that you think about it, I think I would choose fire powers. Just thinking about Azula from Avatar The Last Airbender, I mean, she could fly using her fire. 
I mean, how many other people have you seen, like, actually do that? Fly using fire. But, I mean, not, not only that, it would also be a lot easier to cook food, to heat up water, to keep myself warm. Fire isn't all that destructive either, it just depends on how you use it. I do like ice powers too, but I think I would go with fire instead. The next question comes from Risky Agung. I don't think I pronounced that right, I'm sorry. But your question is, do you have a perfect patter bit slash pitter bite? Um, I don't actually. The only perfect Coromon I have are Lampire, Armadil, and four perfect Beezles. Yes, I have four perfect Beezle. Don't ask me how or why, but I have four perfect Beezle. Alright folks, that'll wrap up today's Q&A. Hopefully we can do another one in the future, but again, let me know in the comments section what kind of Pokemon game you would want me to make content about. I'm thinking maybe a mystery dungeon game? But anyways, let me know, and hopefully I can make a video to it soon rather than later. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next video.